hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i will test out for you the new honey one gtof version that was released recently it allows you to create realistic video from text to image or from video this model is very suitable for low vram pc configuration so i will try to show you my custom workflow that allows you to create video from images or from text but also from video in addition to that I will try to show you how you can upscale your uh, video using a new custom workflow for upscaling. So without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. Okay, first of all, I will give you a quick overview uh, on my workflow. Here we have the main uh, group for this Honey One Video GGUF, where we have uh, our unit loader GGUF here, and you can clearly see the model that we downloaded, which is named Honey One Video Text to Video. We have our dual clip loader which is also dedicated to Honey One. For the first clip, I am using the clip L, and for the second clip, I am using uh, the L Lama 3. After that, we have uh, some uh, classic uh, notes that was related to Flux. Here we have our empty Honey One lighting video. We have our random noise, our key sampler so select, and the basic scheduler here where you can set uh, your scheduler, your steps value, and your denoise value. Then, for the model, we have the model sampling that was related to Stable Diffusion 3, and the basic guider. We also have the flux guidance here that is related to the prompt conditioning. A higher value can give you better results. But I strongly suggest you to use this default value, since it gives me the best results for the realistic uh, style. Then all those nodes are gonna come here into this sampler custom advanced, which uh, kind of replace the key sampler, the classic key sampler. Then we have our VAE decode that was uh, that is very uh, useful for this type of uh, uh, video generation. Here we have the tile size, the overlap, the temporal size, and the temporal overlap. So from my test, I saw that sometimes we have a difficulty to decode our generated video. So to fix that, I strongly suggest you to play with this style size over here. You need to decrease it if uh, you encounter this uh, decoded uh, version, deco decoded problem with your video. And this problem is very related to the VRAM of your PC, since the Honey One um, original uh, checkpoint was dedicated for at minimum 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And here we have our video combined. As, as you can see, we have our text prompt here. I did a simple uh, prompt for this uh, video here. And uh, it generated uh, two seconds of video for the empty Honey One Lightened video. If you want to increase the time of your video, you can change the length here of the empty Honey One Lightened video. But it's going to also consume you a lot of VRAM. You can also play with the high and the width of your video since we have our upscaling group that will allows us to upscale uh, your, our final results. So you need to find the good balance between those parameters. Okay, now we will talk about uh, our image to text uh, group. As you can see here, let me enable it. Here we have our Florence to run in order for, for us. If you want to use the uh, auto prompting uh, model, you, uh, all you need, you will only need to upload your image. Then the model will do everything for you. Then you have to change the clip text here by using the right click, convert text input to widget and block the string here. This way you will use automatically the prompt generated uh, with your images. So it is very useful if you want to uh, use uh, any type of images or something that you like in order to create video of it. It will give you a good result based on your prompt and your image. So you need to do some tests in order to obtain the good results. Then we have our uh, video to video group where you can see here that I used this video of uh, this little girl. Then I try to implement it in this uh, first group. I tried to replace the little girl with the little boy and it succeeds in the, without any issues to do that. So if you want to also do video to video, you can use this uh, group. And it is mainly composed of uh, a video uploader 
resize image in order to get uh, the resolution of our video. Make sure that uh, the selected resolution, height and width are uh, similar to those one used in this uh, empty uh, Honey One Lightened video. Okay, then we have our get image size and count and we have our VAE encode which uh, uh, which gonna use the VAE uh, model in order to encode this uh, latent uh, resolution. Then this set latent here gonna be used directly with this sampler custom advance and uh, the way we're gonna do that is through the get latent here but if you wanna use the text to image you just have to plug the latent here you can either way use the image to text or you can change this to text and you can type here your prompt for the prompt i use this website here that was that is related to honey one video and you can clearly see some uh, interesting prompt over here and finally the last group is the upscaling group where we're gonna upscale our video to a higher resolution since this honey one video only can generate a video at low resolution and if you have a low vram graphic card li like i do so you will need to lower the resolution for the generation for the generated video then you need to upscale it and the upscaling process is gonna be based on this uh, upscaled model the four times ultra sharp model then we have here a series of nodes that we're gonna obtain the video generated here using the set video and get video nodes then we have our upscale factor i i am choosing the factor of two but you can try to increase it uh, as you want after that we will uh, we will use the width and height uh, uh, value of the our video then multiply it using this uh, factor of two then the upscale image is gonna uh, take into consideration those uh, parameters and implement it here for the uh, in the video combined nodes you will also need to set the fps uh, upscale of your video and uh, that's it you can clearly see the final results of this video here you can see some example that I generated using this Hanyo One GG World version and as you can see it succeeded sometimes to create amazing video but sometimes we have some distortion but in all overall the quality looks very good with this workflow okay now let's jump over the necessary model for this workflow to work here we have uh, the first link by the way you can find all the necessary link here included on my workflow or you can check my description box for the Honey One GGOF model, we have different model as you can see here. Uh, started with the BF16, the Q3, and the Q8. For this video, I am using this Q5, which is weighted 9 GB. Make sure to download it. Once it is done, go to ConfUI root folder, enter a model, then search for UNET. Make sure to pass your file here. Then we need to download the LLLAMA3 in order to decode our text. Use this link, go to this hugging face link, and make sure to download this FP8 scaled safe tensor file. It is also weighted 9 GB. Once it is done, go to ConfUI model, search for clip, then make sure to pass your model here. Okay. The last thing that you're gonna need is the VAE for decoding your video. Also, make sure to download this file named Honey One Video VAE BF16 and then place it over your VAE folder in, in the uh, model folder. Make sure to rename it Honey One Video VAE BF16. Okay, now let's jump to the necessary nodes. Uh, if you don't have the Comfy YGGUF nodes, I will show you how you can install it. Either way, you can use this uh, Comfy UI manager search for uh, ggof and make sure to up the, update it in order uh, for, for him to take the consideration of this uh, honey one last update if you don't have it i will show you how you can install it go to comfy UI custom nodes type in cmd now use the git clone and you will use the code included with this github version github link paste your code here and click enter once it is done, make sure to enter this configyggf folder and type in pip install dash r requirements.txt. 
With this code, you're gonna install all the necessary requirements. Click enter and close, or wait for it to finish. Once it is done, return again to custom notes folder, type in CMD. Now we will try to install the Honey One video wrapper in order for us to use the Honey One uh, notes. Do the same thing, copy the code, use the CMD, use the code git clone, paste your model here, and once it is done, also enter the comfy UI Honey One video wrapper, type in CMD again, and use the code pip install dash requirements dash air requirements dot txt in order to install the necessary requirements. Once it is done, update your comfy UI. It is very important uh, for you to update it for this workflow. Then restart your comfy UI. Once it is done, make sure to use my workflow and just uh, drag it here and you it will load automatically. You, you also have this fast group bypasser when you can bypass uh, some notes like the video to video or uh, image to text. You just have to click. You can all enable or disable this upscaling group. Okay, that's practically everything that I want to show you for uh, this Honey One uh, GGWF model. If you like this video, please uh, push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to watch my other video. Thank you.